Uh, good morning, traders out there in Traderland. My name is D7 here at Grok Trade. Saturday morning, doing a video. This is going to be a big one. It's the weekend edition. Good through Sunday. March 25th, 2018. And so let me share with you a couple things. Markets are bleeding out. This is a big time warning video. Warning, warning, warning. And we're going to be looking at a lot of stocks, a lot of technicals. So like me, get your cup of coffee. Mm, get your cup of coffee. <sighs> Snuggle up and let's get going. Markets bleed out Friday, down 2%, 1%, almost 3% on the NASDAQ. Russell's down 2%. Financial's down 3%. Big, big, big drops, guys. Huge drops in the markets. Crude oil up 2.6%. We have gold and silver higher. VIX now at 25, guys. VIX is high, went up 6%. Bitcoin um, just flat for the most part. Okay, guys, here we are looking at the markets as a whole. The daily chart. We're going to, again, I'm going to be looking at the Dow 30. I'm going to look at tech stocks. I'm going to be looking at a lot of stocks after this. <clears throat> And I'm going to run, run, run. Here's the daily chart on the S&P 500 ETF, ETF, Exchange Traded Fund. We focus on this one because it is by far the most important index that is out there. For a lot of reasons, I'm not gonna, I'll am not spare you the time. <clears throat> Here, we got this big drop, 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 drop. We broke a major trend line. This blue trend line, broken, broken, broken. And it happened on Friday. Bad, bad news. We're down barely below the 200-day moving average. The only support level we have is this coming across at 258, 258. That is it. And then we have another major trend line here. We got a couple areas of support, but big sell volume, big sell off. Bad news. We had a symmetrical triangle break down. This is problematic, but I want to go to the weekly to show you it gets worse. Here's the weekly chart. And you'll notice I have up and down arrows. Those are my personal calls that I have. So I am on record on what my buys and calls are for the world to see. And, and here they are. You can, I mean, they're here. I've shown these things forever, okay? So these are my buys and calls. This is a weekly chart, and you can tell that because it says W up there. I'm using TradingView, TradingView.com. That's the software I'm using, but there's a weekly, W for weekly. But I had a sell, 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 and a buy. You can see, and anytime you, we, we're going sideways in consolidations, you're going to see that my calls are always off because it's consolidation. That's just how it's going to be. However, one of the calls we're going to be right after consolidation, and you'll get a big run to um, one side or the other. In this case, we broke a major every support, so I think that we have a really good chance now of sliding and, and this market starting to drop and finally give some back because we had this huge bullish run for eight years, just a huge, huge run. We are looking to take a major breath, and that means a significant pullback in, in the markets. Is this it? I don't know, but this has to happen before a major sell-off can't occur, okay? Keep that in mind. This has to happen. But right now, there's the crack in the ice. Here is the problem. This is the opportunity for the bears to take control. Now, as you guys, I've been telling you, I've been flat this market as we've been chopping sideways, just flat, sitting back. I've been traveling. Mark's been coming in and doing some of my videos. And uh, I am happy to be flat right now. I am inches. I mean, I'm ready to start making some money, man. I'm ready to get in this market on the bear side. I've been you know, sitting on my hands too long, too long. And I'm just, if the, if the timing's right, and it looks like it could be, this could be the time to start going short this market. And I want, I'm want i really interested to see what Monday has for us. Mm, that will be so interesting to see. A quick look. The month's still active. we still got another week or so. But you'll notice that we broke over a trend line, but now we've come back down below it. There's a jab. This could be big time bearish happening. Big, big time bearish. I just, I find it hard to see this thing rallying all the way back to get back above 274, 275 before the month's in. That means next week has to be a big time bullish 
week for this market to stay solid, okay? And I just, I'm not seeing it in the charts. I'm not seeing it in the charts because we've broke down here. So that means next week would have to be a monster rally back to the upside. Huge, huge rally. If we could get a ma massive rally back to the upside, you know, say get around that 280 mark, that will be, if we could get, man, just 275 or 280 next week, then no way I'm going to be going short. And there'd be a good chance of the market rallying again north, and then I'll want to be long. Very, I'm telling you guys, this is such an important time to be watching the markets. Very, very. You had to look at multiple time frames, monthly, weekly, daily. They, they all matter, and they all sing. A, they're all singing the same song. All of them have their own melody, and you and they play in, in in concert with one another. Very important that you do that. Um, let's go to the diamonds. Diamonds, I got to sell on the weekly. Bam, down, breaking the downside. Here, we got to sell. Symmetrical triangle breakdown. Bam, Thursday, Friday, we go lower. We got a lot of support right here underneath. Let's see if we can hold that support. We're dropping on the monthly. NASDAQ, if we go to the NASDAQ. NASDAQ, down, 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 down. Um, I think I shared this with you, um, my last video on Wednesday. You'll see that we have an island reversal top and with the open windows, and I was sharing with you guys that, oh man, some of you guys got some trolls and haters out there. I don't mind you, but um, you guys, when I said no one knows about the abandoned baby, I'm not saying that I made it up. That <laughs> That's a figure of speech. Very few people know about abandoned baby reversal pattern, okay? <laughs> so <laughs> don't get your panties in a wad. The, the, but this is what's called an island reversal pattern. You, get, you go up, 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 up. You get an open window. You get an island. Not a baby, an island. Big difference. And then you get another open window coming down. And you get two open windows. Usually big time bearish. And sure enough, that's what happened. A huge slide off here. But things that drop really quick, bounce really quick, and we're coming up to a lot of support here on the NASDAQ on the daily chart, guys. So be watching this. Big, big time support right here. Will we bounce off of support? We could, we could. So this is, you can't just willy nilly say, I'm going to go short right now because we haven't broke down enough for that to happen. But I'm telling you, this is. This sort of sell-off has to happen, and these levels of support have to be broken before a major market correction can take place. So just know that this has to come first, and if this does happen, which it looks like it's happening now, then our chances of a sell-off taking place uh, does increase quite a bit. And the weekly chart on the NASDAQ, big sell right here. Bam, broke support, guys. And we closed at the low. Really, really, really bearish there. We, For the week, we opened at the high, closed at the low. It's a big-time bearish candlestick. If you look here at the weekly or monthly, we're dropping too. Um, we're going to look here at the Russells. The Russells... Um, we had a buy on it. Remember on Wednesday, I put a buy and it was the only buy I could put because it did pop up, but I said that could burn me. And sure enough, it burnt me. So I had to turn around and put a sell on it. It did drop. But anyway, look at the weekly. The weekly is that major, major, major support. Now I put a sell on it because of what's happening across the board on all major indices. I put a sell on it. However, however, we are at support. We're at support. The question is, what will happen? This is a big rising wedge. This is Russell's weekly, guys, the small caps. Big rising wedge. Look at this. We come up, hit the resistance. We come down, hit support. We come up and did not hit resistance. We do an M, see a double top, and then we drop. Even though we're at support, I put a sell on it because it just looks like it's going to want to break down. Mm. Okay, financials. What can we learn from financials? Financials can tell us a lot. If you look here at the daily chart, we had this big symmetrical triangle. We sold here, down, 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 big to sell, Thursday, Friday, massive, massive, but we're at major support. We're at major support. Man, guys, I'm telling you, this is big time support, support, support. This 
so let me help you get this line. This is uh, September blah, 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 September 7th of last year. And then we go all the way to 2016. That would be June 14th. You can see those dates down there. Those That's your line. That's your line for where we're at right now. And that's why we touched it and bounced right off of it. See that? I mean, found major support right at it. If you draw these lines correctly, it's magic. Magic. <laughs> it's. Uh, we're just nearing support levels. This could be a bounce city. And if we get a big bounce here in the markets, we're going to dodge a huge bullet ne this next week. This next week has to be bullish. If it is, we're going to dodge a bullet. If it's not, this this market could sell off and in a hurry. Looking at technicals, if you, if you, if you guys been following me for any time at all, I've been doing these trading videos longer than anybody in the world, literally. I've started in 2004. There's nobody, nobody doing trading videos on a daily basis before me. I've been doing this a long time. I can, the things that I see in, in this market, is uh, the things that I'll see here in in the in the charts are deep. There's so many things that I see that I can't share in one video. And matter of fact, I there's some things I keep very close to me, except for the students that come to our program that that I share everything with. I share everything to. But this symmetrical triangle, huge belt break off, um, sell off. Yeah, I we just gotta bounce. We have to do it. If not, this is gonna be a sell city, sell sell city. If we look here at the weekly, we broke a support line. Let's blow this up so we can see it. All right, we have a support line, major support right here. So we're. June 16, we got October 2016, uh, right here is September 2017, and then we broke it there. Bam! Bad news. Bad news. Financials broke support. Bad news. If you look here at the monthly, oh, we're already, now the monthly is still active, but look, we're already below a major line here. Mm, not good, not good, not good. Not good. Let's go to the US dollar, US dollar. Big bearish pennant, see this? It's down, 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 big bearish pennant, breaking down now. US dollar's in trouble on the daily. If you look here at the weekly, uh, down, 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 little bear pennant, bear flag kind of looking thing, but we're in trouble, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. The monthly is in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. Let's go to crude oil. Crude oil has been pretty bullish here. So we had a symmetrical triangle break out. This is one of the triangles that actually broke out instead of down. So crude oil, boom, to the upside, looking very, very good here on the daily chart, the weekly chart, up, up, up. But we're at resistance. Let me show it to you. We're at resistance. Resistance here, and that's May 2016. We come across to right here, and that's January 2018, and that's right where we're at now. That's where we're at right now. We're right there at it. So the question is, will we bust through? We could. We could bust through, but will we? The weekly, that's the weekly chart, weekly chart. And the monthly looks good. Everything looks good. Let's go to gold. Gold. We've got to buy on it up, 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 but we're coming into a ton of resistance. The weekly, I drew a ton of trend lines here. Um, they're all relevant. A lot of resistance. If we can get past this, meaning that if we can get above 128, 129, if we can get above 129 on gold, expect gold to go boom to the upside. L expect that, expect that. If you go here to silver, silver is just con you know, just chopping sideways. What a mess silver and gold has been in. We're at major resistance here. Let me show it to you. We're up, up, up. We're trying to get over this trend line. It's just having a hard time doing it. We're just caught up in the moving averages. I have a buy on it, but 
the I mean it's gonna do whatever it's gonna do. Let's see what's going on in the weekly. The weekly I put a buy on the weekly because we pulled back to a support level on a big symmetrical triangle. So there's my buy. Let's see what happens with silver. You got a big symmetrical triangle, blue lines, the red lines, big bullish pennant. I think this is going to go higher on the monthly. I think gold and silver is set to go higher. VIX, fear. Before we get into stocks, we got a lot of stocks to get into. Some great opportunities. But fear increasing. Put a buy on it back here. Up, 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 up. We're near 25. Mm. 25. Fear is high. Fear is high. Quick look at bit. Bitcoin. Bitcoin has been chopping around going sideways, sideways, sideways. Full disclosure, I own Bitcoin. Down, 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 down. Sideways, 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 sideways. Big symmetrical triangle. This is going to break out or down. But the last couple of times to try to break down, you'll see lower shadows. We bought back up. This lower shadow, we bought back up. You don't see that on the upside where people are selling. So this is X percent more bullish and it is bearish because of that. However, we moving averages are acting more as resistance instead of support. And that is problematic, but we also is a high base. There's a lot going on with Bitcoin right now, but expect a big, big move. It is coming. That's what no one understands it, that the power of these symmetrical triangles are significant. You will get big moves out of these things. And we're at the apex. It's a coiling spring building up power, power, power. This dude is going to a move. It's going to move. So be watching it. For those who have an IRA or a retirement account, you can't get into crypto. You can get into GBTC, and it's just moving sideways. It's a big triangle, too. Where's my, I need to add my line. I don't know where it went. Big symmetrical triangle. Watch for these to rock and roll. Okay, let's get into some stocks, some stock. Man, it is snowing outside. We got this big, crazy snow system that's moved through, and it's hitting us here in the Midwest. Mm, a lot of stocks. A lot of stocks. I'm going to show you guys something before I go into a lot of stocks. I just want you to see the new website. That's it. GrokTrade.com. Look how I made it, try to make it really clean, 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 just clean. So you can easily see things. We have some free webinars, kind of cool stuff. Oh, guys, meet and greets. I started doing this. We did one in Naples, Florida. Guys, we're doing one in Indianapolis, Chicago, Columbus, Cincinnati, Louisville. If you can drive to any of these locations, let us know because Mark and me, we are wanting to meet with you just to have coffee, to sip and, <laughs> and get to know each other. That's it. Just meet and greets. We're wanting to do that. First time ever in the 10 years we've been in business that we've ever been going around doing meet and greets. And anyway, we're really excited about it. Something that I did over the weekend, if you click on trading mentorship, I actually wrote a letter to anybody that has a remote interest in mentoring, and it's a long one. It's gonna take you 15 minutes to go through all the information I give. It's crazy. It is, and it's got some interesting things in there. And I even tell my story that's um, about my first two trading accounts that I blew through. <laughs> so check this out. <clears throat> Let's get into some stocks. Dow 30. We're going to move Apple. Um, Apple. I'm going to spend a little more time on this one because. So we have resistance, 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 all the way across. If you put up a line chart, it's perfect. Boom, boom, and boom. And. As you'll notice, my sell calls are always a little after it hits the high. So it hits the high, I put it just after it because I want confirmation. Hit the high just after it to hit confirmation. Hit the low just after it for confirmation. You have to have those confirmations. You got to have those. And there's other things we're looking for, but that's how 
um, you can see where I put my buys and sells. And, and you can see that when I make my buys and sells, as long as we're not going sideways, if we're, not, if we're trending, you know, we're, we're making some money, 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 money on these. So um, these are my buys and sells. I wish I made money on all of them, but I don't like this one. I would have sold here. See that one I would have lost money on. And this one definitely. We sold it here because it dropped but then came around. This is a little island reversal, bullish island reversal, and it takes off. <clears throat> Man, I'm sorry for the little cough, my morning stuff. Anyway, but check this out. If we look at Apple been trending higher, 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 but it has this big deep sell off. We come back up and then we drop. We drop more than 61.8, I believe. You know, chances are I should probably look at this. Let me see where we're at. No, we're fine. 61.8 is right here. So this pullback is within. Uh, this is not too bad of a pullback. So even though we got a sell on Apple right now, this could be a buy at 165 area. So be watching that. That's interesting to see. I don't like the sell volume on this. Let me see what the weekly is showing me. Oh, this week I put a sell on it. I put a sell on it. Um, not liking it. Not liking it. If I do this. It's, it's not, I need to. Oh, man. Let me just do it real fast. Make sure it's just how I want it. So we have big support. So I can see a little more of a sell-off and then big, big support. But if it breaks that, we're in trouble. It's the weekly. Monthly, I don't have a sell on it yet. But I'll tell you, the monthlies, guys, if we if next week is bearish, expect me to put sell on all the monthlies. And if we do that, that is sell city. And that is watch for a major correction. Watch for a big one, guys. Because people will be wanting to take profits. Algorithms will come in. The algos will come in and start selling you will see a significant sell-off in the market. <clears throat> Two years from now, you come back to this video and say, man, that D7 guy, it's amazing. Because in 2008, actually I started sharing the warnings in 2007 for the financial market crash. 2008, I was like, warning, 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 guys, and I'm on video. You can go back and watch my videos. I'm talking about the warnings that I was sharing before the major crash. Mm. <sighs> No, okay. <clears throat> um, AXP. AXP, we're down, 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 but it, it broke support. See this? It broke support on Friday. No good, no good. And the weekly, oh, I was getting ready to put a sell on it, but I already have one. So this sell has been going on a long time. Monthly, I can't do it yet, but I'm getting ready to put a sell on the monthly when it closes. Bank of America, I'm moving here now. Bank of America, we're down, 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 down. It's just in trouble. Last week, I put a sell on it. Uh, monthly is fine. Okay, Caterpillar. Down, down, down. But this is a big bullish pin, guys. This thing, let me see something here. Yep, it broke it on Friday. Bad news. Bad news. Weekly, I got a sell on it. I did that sell back in January, guys. And that's what has happened so far. Let's go to Cisco. Cisco, big rising wedge breakdown. There it is, the sell. We had a sell, and I was underwater on that one for a while, as you remember, but it's starting to go down. CVX, Chevron, down, down, down. Big bear flag, guys. This is a sell opportunity, big-time sell opportunity here on this. Yes. Watch Chevron. This thing is getting ready to crash and burn. I put a sell on that January, January this year on the weekly. Monthly last month had a sell on it. Bad news. Chevron. Disney. Ooh, let me look at the weekly first. I put a sell on Disney January 15th, and look where we're at. Broke a major, major support line on a symmetrical triangle. Disney is in trouble. The only hope it has is on earnings coming up. Let's look at the daily. Daily, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, and then down. Broke major support and bad news. Dow, DuPont, Dow, DuPont is down, 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 down. It's horrible. The weekly, I had a sell on that the end of January, and it's dropping. And look at this. I, I'm so badly wanting to put a sell on this right now, but if the markets go big-time bullish next week, then 
I, I'll be glad I didn't put an early sell on my monthlies. I will be glad. GE, what a pitiful stock that has been. Great stock to short. Down, 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 down. It's just, it just keeps going lower, 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 lower. The weekly, down, 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 down. But it, when it pops, guys, look for a big rally on GE. GE could be ready to rock and roll. But, and, oh, let me share with you a big-time bullish divergence right there. Guys, this could be... Be watching GE for a possible buy opportunity. Be watching. That's the daily chart. The weekly chart, it's just down, 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 down. It might be overextended to the downside. That's the weekly. Might be overextended to the downside on the weekly. All right, Goldman Sachs. Go to Goldman Sachs. Oh, pitiful. Broke support on Thursday, Friday. It followed through. The weekly got a sell on it, but we broke a major area of support so far on the monthly. The monthly, if it doesn't heal itself by week's end, we're in trouble. Man, um, Home Depot, down, down, down. We broke major support on Friday. Called it a sell back here in January on the weekly. The monthly, oh, I didn't put a sell on it last month. Wow. Normally... Oh, maybe because it's above the eight EMA. Uh, normally, I would have had a sell on that. Not sure why it's not one. Maybe because of that. And the markets were acting bullish. Okay, IBM down, down, down. Friday we broke support. Look at that, guys. If you look here, the weekly called it a sell middle of January. Um. Oh boy, this thing is ready to break down on the monthly too. IBM is in trouble. INTC. Intel, got a sell on it. We're dropping. Weekly, I added a sell this week. Johnson & Johnson had a sell on it back here in the end of January. We're dropping. Got a sell. Major support broken on Thursday and then Friday follow through. And, yeah, here's another one. Yeah, where are my monthlies? I don't have a monthly sell. That should have been a sell right there. Because this one isn't, f yeah, anyway, let's go. JP, JP, JP Morgan, down, 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 down. This week I put a sell on it because this is a static candlestick. That's why I'm able to do it. And so that tells me, JP Morgan, let's go back to Johnson & Johnson. This one's still, I'm not calling that one, but the, but this one is static for last month. Last month was static, okay? This one I don't even care about. It doesn't matter to me because it's still it's still active. So that is where I would put a sell on it. Regardless of what happens. So if we do go bullish and then we follow through above 140, then I'll have to put a buy back on it. But right now that's what it is. Ah, but some of you guys are gonna say no. You're putting it on a day early. I just, I'm not. It's not worth it to me. But the logic is there anyway. Let's go to Coca-Cola. So here we got a drop, drop, drop. Man, big time sell off to the downside. The weekly I have a sell on the January. A lot of January sells here. And those on the weekly. McDonald's. Um, I got a sell on it, but this is a bull pullback. This could rally here. But the weekly, I've got a sell on it. Monthly last month, got a sell on it. See, that exactly. Last, I should have that. I don't know why I didn't on the other one. It's just weird. Um, MMM, got a sell on it right there. And Triple M, big support broken on Thursday and then Friday follow through. Merck. Merck, you got to sell on the weekly, down, 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 and then we broke support on Friday. Microsoft, big rising wedge breakdown. There is the breakdown right there. Bad news, bad news, bad news. I like to encompass all my candlesticks. Oh, very
very parallel now. I'm actually liking these lines quite a bit. All right. There it is. Boom, boom, boom. It's in trouble, trouble, trouble. This is Microsoft. Microsoft. Nike. Nike, you got to sell on that. Sell on the weekly. I just added that. PFE. Got to sell back here in January. Got to sell. But just choppy sideways. Be careful with that one if you're long that. PG, Procter & Gamble. Sell on that. We're sliding off. The weekly we're selling, going down. Monthly, I put a sell on that at the beginning of the year. So sell, sell, sell city on Procter & Gamble. Travelers. Got a sell on it, and it finally broke down Thursday and then Friday. And then this week, I put a sell on it. United Health, we're down, down, down. Thursday broke a major area support. Friday, and uh, yep, there it is. There's my sell on the weekly. Looking good. U, whoops, UTX. UTX. Down, broke support on Friday. Down this week, got a sell on it, and really looking bearish, bearish, bearish on the monthly. Visa. Visa, have a sell on it back in January. Visa, got a sell breaking down from resistance, but we broke support there. See that? Support broken. We're in trouble on Visa. Verizon, Verizon, we broke support. We're in trouble. The weekly, it's a sell. We're down below the 20 week moving average. Guys, it's just looking bearish. Walmart. We got a sell on that January or February. I added a sell on Walmart. We continued down on the sell. We're breaking a lot of support. We're in trouble. Exxon. Even though gas is going higher, Exxon's dropping, dropping, dropping. I have a sell on Exxon back here in January, and it's continuing down. I put a sell on this in February, and Exxon's just trash. Let's look at tech stocks. Tech stocks. All right, Grok Tech Stocks. Let's go here. We looked at Apple. We're going to go to Amazon. Got a sell on Amazon. We're breaking down a sell on the weekly. Do not be holding Amazon. Baba, got a sell on Baba. We're breaking support. Got a sell on the weekly. Don't want to be holding Baba. Baidu, um, I had a sell on it, but I sat through a lot of heat on this one. Up, 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 up on the weekly, but it's finally dropping, so I'll stay with my sell. It's good. My sell on Thursday was added, and but Friday we broke a major every support. Baidu is not one to be in. BKNG is Priceline, guys. That has changed. And I need to go back to Priceline and get all my – figure out where I put all my buys and sells on Priceline and add them to this. And all I could do, and I just didn't have the time. So I just said this week is a sell. And this so this week was a sell, okay? <laughs> That's all I could do. But it's a bull pullback. This could get bullish fairly quickly, at least on the daily. At least on the daily. Cisco, big rising wedge breakdown. I have a sell on that one. Bam, to the downside. Again, I sat through a lot of heat. So I put a sell on it, but then it went against me. But it's dropping, so I'm going to stay with my sell on that. Catfish. Got a sell on it on Thursday, Friday. That's another one. I put a sell on it, set through heat, but it's dropping, so I'm good with that one. eBay. This week, there's my sell. Where was my buy on eBay? It was way back here in January. Okay, so good, good profits there. The eBay is just in trouble on the daily. Facebook. Oh, in trouble. Down, 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 down. On Facebook, this week got a big fat sell in the monthly looks grim. Google, big drop, had a sell on this one in January. Big rising wedge on the daily, big breakdown. We're at a support level though, be careful with that. Google with an L, same, we broke a major support line. No, we didn't. Wait a second, wait just a second. Yep, we did. We did break it. We have the 200-day moving average, giving a little support, but sell, 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 and a sell there. Okay, GoPro down 4% on Friday. Huge little, I mean, GoPro, what a pitiful stock that has been. Got a sell on it. We continue lower. I keep hoping that GoPro, this was this time for it to shine, and it just failed to do so. You look here at 
the weekly, this is a beautiful drop, 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 low base breakdown. That's beautiful. It's a beautiful example of a low base breakdown. So very bearish, very bearish. Microsoft, Microsoft, we got a big rising wedge breakdown. I think we already looked at this one. Okay, Netflix, Netflix, got to sell on it, but it's it's just a, a pullback. It's not too damaging yet. Um, the weekly, I did put a sell on it though. So there's the problem is the weekly. Nvidia down 4%. Have a sell on that last week. Down, down, down. This week I add a sell to Nvidia. A sell. Oracle. Oracle, what a horrible thing. We got a sell on it. Earnings came out. That worked in my favor. Down. And I had a sell on this one back in January for the weekly. And it's just. It could turn into a big diamond formation. See the the broadening formation, and then if it condenses into a, a, a triangle, a symmetrical triangle, this could be a big diamond formation, which would be very bullish. I, that's way, that's a big time stab in the dark. So I'm just saying what could happen by the looks of it. PayPal, got a sell on that one. The weekly, got a sell on it. And sure enough, there's our bear pullback. This is a great area on long term to short PayPal. Because this will be turned into a head and shoulder trend reversal pattern. Trend reversal pattern if it does continue to southbound. If so, you're going to see a nasty little drop. And I like PayPal. I use them. But it's all in the technicals. Red Hat got a sell on. Oh, whoops, that's PayPal. Come on. Red Hat. Yep, we got a sell on that Thursday, Friday. We dropped. Do I have a sell? Yep, we got a sell this week on Red Hat. Shopify, Shopify, Shopify. Got a sell on Shopify and on the weekly. Do not be long. Snap, got a sell on Snap. And I'm not doing a sell on the weekly yet. That's interesting. Everybody else is getting sells slapped on them. But I'm not willing to do that yet because this is a nice bull pullback to a rising 20-week moving average. This could go bullish, guys. So I'm going to stay with my buy call on the weekly, even though I got a sell call. But if this thing pops up higher, I will absolutely put a buy on it. Twitter, Twitter, I got a sell on it. And it blew up in my face, put a sell on it, boom, up. But then it finally dropped Um and then, oh, I was going to say, why do I not have a sell here? It's because I already had one. I sat through a lot of heat, and I will, I'm will. i good with my sell on that one. All right, monologue time. If you're still with me, kudos. <laughs> it's because you are... You want data, you want information, you want a ton. Any, The more, the better. And that's what, what that letter that I wrote to people interested in mentoring, it's long. The more I was writing it, I just kept writing and writing and writing. The more I wrote, it's just I was kind of talking from my heart. And I, the more information I would share about the mentor. I mean, I share a lot of things that most people don't know about our mentorship in that. But you'll sit on, you'll be reading that for 15 minutes. It's like a small novel. <laughs> but anyway, we do mentor uh, once a month online. It's a Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. We can take you under our wing, show you a few things if you're interested. Here's a chat thing. I'm not going to put up here very long. But if you were to take that number right there and put a uh, text me your name and ad an email address, and we'll uh, shoot you off some information about the mentorship. So, uh, but anyway. I did a video last Wednesday, and in my video, it was interesting how many um, people had negative comments to make, and it comes with it. Do you know the the more popular content becomes, the more people that come in, the more uh, what the internet calls trolls or haters <laughs> or keyboard warriors. There's a lot of names for those people that come in and spread negativity. And, and that just comes with the territory. Uh, a couple of you guys, um, um, X Power and some others, uh, who uh, came to my defense. <laughs> Kudos to you guys. I, I appreciate that. Um, what I the part I want to share was uh, one of our students just went through the mentorship program, 
and made a comment on there about how they just went through it and how it was a positive experience for them. But somebody came in and bashed it because they were a beginner or, or something, and, and, I, and I take issue with that. The person who invests in themselves and the person who takes the time to educate themselves in such a way to position them to be a formidable trader, to be a formidable opponent in the markets has done a good thing for themselves. Because I'll tell you this, there's a ton of people out there losing a ton of money in the markets. They're the buy and hope guys that I'll just buy and hope and hope for the best. And for eight years, you have been and they have been rock stars. But let's say, let's say the thunder in the distance that we're hearing now is a major monsoon. It's a storm coming and it's going to hurt a lot of people, at least for the next three to four to five to six months. It's going to be a bloodbath out there. I'm not saying it's going to, but let's say this thunder in the distance that we're hearing here and this warning that we've put out actually comes to fruition. Let's say this, this is something that really happens. People will lose quite a bit of money in their accounts. Now, not me, hopefully not you. You need to learn how to trade the market both bullish and bearish because you can make money to the downside 66% faster than you can to the upside, 66% faster. Some people become what we call perma bears or permanent bearish because they get addicted to the idea of making money to the downside because it seems really easy when it happens because you got, jump into something short and all of a sudden it starts bleeding out quickly. Now the bears have had their heads handed to them um, for many years now. However, if now is the time for the markets to finally do something. So let me show you this. Let's go to the spider. A lot of you guys have already signed off. You're not even part of this video anymore. And <clears throat> you're gonna miss this. You guys stayed on and for a while and then bailed out. But check this out. This is a monthly chart. You look back here, 2009. 2009, we're at 2018 right now. 2018, almost nine years bull run, guys. We don't have that. Usually, this like this one, we start in, in 95, and this one went to 2000. Okay, it's five-year bull run. Five years. And then we drop about three years. And then we have another five-year bull run. I mean, we're down here, you know, around 202, and we go to 207, 208, right? So there it is. There's your double top. I remember my videos right there said double top, double top in 2007, October, November. This is trouble, 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 especially when you got into November. November, I was like, man, this is bad, bad news, and there's the drop off. So then it goes from 2007, 2008, right? 2000 in, until the, in 2009. So, was, so things that go up, drop. This one dropped very quickly, just two year drop. And then we go into an eight plus year bull rally. It's a bull run, it's a bull runs. So things that go up a long way, it's like a rubber band, will snap back a long way. This could be the trouble. This could be the crack in the ice. And if it does break down here and we do not rally back this next week, guys, it looks very bearish. Many people would be hurt. But not people who are educated. Not people who've taken the time to say, I don't even care if you're a beginner or you've been trading 20 years. If you change for the better, if you make changes to make money and not lose money. You've done a good thing for you and your life and for your family. You've done an amazing thing. Every dollar to me is like an employee. My employees have to be making me money, not losing me money. My employees have to be at work. Unless my confidence level is down on where the markets will be heading next, technically speaking. Because we went into the sideways motion. So it's last month, look at this. See how we started to drop and drop and drop, but we came right back. That's indecision on a monthly chart. Because of that, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't have any direction now. Here, you should be long, 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 making money, 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 money. And then indecision, be flat the markets. Some people are short already. Kudos to you. Great. 
I've been traveling. I've been all over the place here lately. I was in Vegas and then Florida, and soon I'll be in Norfolk, and after that I'll be in North Carolina, and um, and then I'll be in Des Moines. I'm just going to – I'm everywhere. Matter of fact, I might do a meetup in Des Moines. Um, it's not that populated, but maybe there's some people in that area. If so, let me know. Um, yeah. Go there and leave me a comment. Uh, go to the website, Grok Trade, and down at the bottom, pick one. Des Moines not there. Maybe I should add it or just add one, and we'll get and talk. You know, and you can email us and say, "Hey, it's actually Des Moines that I'm interested in." Um, okay, but let's look at this. If we drop down and we stay bearish, that's going to be bad news for the markets. Then you could start putting on shorts at that point, start making money to the downside. Because the next level of support is this trend line right here. And this trend line, I'm telling you, I'm telling you after such a big bullish run, I'm not convinced that this support line will hold. If this drops, especially with the increase of volume to the downside, and we close below this, so this could be, I mean, we're in March now, right? March, April could be just bloody we could break it on April or May. And if we do that, this summer is going to be a bloodbath, guys. A nasty one. The other scenario that could happen is we go into a monthly sideways chop. A jaggy little chop here. And at that point, day trading. You just want to day trade. Swing tradings will have your... You'll just be chopped to death. So one thing we talk about in the like the mentorship is how to handle these sort of scenarios. So, okay, I made this dude over 45 minutes. If you're still with me, kudos, man. It's amazing. <laughs> My coffee has gotten cold. Mm. We'll catch up with you guys later. Leave me a comment. Like it if you like it. You know, let me give me some feedback. We like your comments and and likes. So we'll catch you guys later. Bye.